So I'm carefully going to tack that one in and pull this through. And what I'm going to do at this point is just clip those ends as close to the center, the back of the center as possible. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is pull these tails to the back as well. So we're pulling that to the back. I'm going to go ahead and string this onto my darning needle. Send it to the back. And again, I'm going to weave in the ends. This just makes a really nice tidy back and um, have a lot of, you could tie it, but I'm, I'm thinking the ties don't look quite as nice as um, weaving the ends in and making them disappear. piece to this is just pushing the flower off the loom. And there we go. Simple and easy. Now I'm going to show you one where we're going to use two of the looms because that's going to be the next step that you're going to want to do. So what I've done here is I've put the largest loom and the smallest loom on the base. So if you're going to do a, a flower that's got two um, sections to it, you want to put all of the um, looms on at the beginning. We're going to do the same thing of winding, uh, the, winding the loom. We're going to do the outside of the flower first and tie it off. Now we're going to do the inside of the flower. So the next thing we're going to do is take the second color that you'd like to use, which is going to be yellow. And on the opposite side, we're going to tie our second color off in the exact same manner as we did the first time around. <clears throat> so it's a simple overhand loop. Notch it into the, catch it into the notch. Go straight, straight up through the center, over the top, wind it around the bottom, and go clockwise to the next peg. And again, I'm very used to turning this as I string it, so that's what I will do. It seems to go quite a bit faster for me when I do it this way. And again, nothing seems to want to jump off. I've got good control of my raffia as I'm um, stringing the loom. Again, we have our last peg that we're going around. We're bringing it down to the first peg opposite side. We're going to unloosen our first tail and tie it into our second tail. You want to be careful not to have the raffia jump off the peg too. You just have to keep your eye on it. Sometimes it has a little mind of its own and wants to go jumping off. So just make sure it stays down. Okay, so at this point we've got our first circle loomed and tied off and our second circle loomed and tied off. Now we want to do the center. And I'm going to show a, a second uh, darning stitch for this center. And we're going to do the same thing of stringing up our darning needle with another color of raffia, just to give it some excitement. 
And this time what we're going to do is we're going to come up through the center petal and we're going to count four, bring this up and hold the back just like we did before, we're going to count four lines from where we came up. So we've got one, two, three, four, and we're going to go down into the fourth petal. We're going to come back just two. So you're going to count one, two, and from the back you're going to come up through that second petal, which in fact is a middle blue one. Okay. And from that point we're going to count one, two, three, four, and we're going to go down inside the fourth petal. And we're going to count one, two back and come up through the center of the yellow one. So it's over four, back two, over four, back two. One, two, three, four, down. Back, one, two. Up from the back. And as I work this, I'm actually kind of pulling down on the stitches so that they come really nice and close to the center. You want to have a nice tight look around the middle there. Over four. Back two. Pulling and cinching up on that each time. One, two, three, four. You'll get so that your eye will see exactly where you're supposed to go over and up. So it becomes um, easy and fun. This is one of my favorite finishing centers to do. I like the look of it. I like seeing the circle around the um, center of the flower. I like to take the time and go all the way around because I want to show you how to finish off the back of the raffia. We do it a little bit differently than we do when we do yarn. And it's actually quite easy and fun. So bear with me while I finish this off. that I'm constantly pulling down on it to make it nice and tight. Okay. 